not a magician. It <laughs> sounds fun, but way too complicated. <laughs> Tim, that is straight up James Randy. What? Tim Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly like it. Oh, I'm beatboxing the test of my mind. I thought so. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey. Are you now? Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. No, you, you don't play. You can't have it. Oh. <laughs> no, okay. Well, here, take take this ad. I take half damage from poison. Oh no, where did I? Okay. Ooh. I can drink an elixir. I can catch my breath. <laughs> your spell is catch your breath. All right, let's do this. Yeah, we ready? Yeah. 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 We're gonna bring you up to play. Either one contestant. We need one more. So, wonder what his name could be. <laughs> I don't know. Johnson. Lenny. Punch Johnson. No <laughs> You're not being James Randy. <laughs> no, he's gonna be the uh, same ones we've, we've always been. Uh, Tim was not to have one last year. Yeah, it was. I'm sure it was. He kept throwing it. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. As if we're not going to do that this year. That'll be first action is, can I throw Tim? <laughs> I have a speed of eight yards. <laughs> I can well, also see the dungeon. to Celebrity Demon Lord. Yes. Yeah. 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 So last time we played was a whole year ago. Our intrepid yes. adventurers found a cave, they seduced a dragon, and did some <laughs> other weird stuff. So now it's a whole year later, and our adventuring group is a bit smaller, but they have picked up Luigi along the way. <laughs> As I'm, going you do. To, I'm going to allow my uh, guests and uh, your favorite people to choose themselves and their characters. Luigi, why don't you take us off? Just tell us who your character is. My character is a human priest, um, and yeah, he looks pretty, so. <laughs> awesome. What's his name? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, his name is Luigi. Good, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. You should be Mario. You should name him Mario. <laughs> Mario is on a vacation, um, and Luigi's always better than Mario. So. Oh, so, that's, that's so, so you fact. sent Mario to go live on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, I will be a halfling rogue named, um, Johnson Grandma. Okay. Perfect. And, yeah. Just Grandma for he's, short. Yeah, you just call him Grandma for short. And, uh, he has a pipe and a really big belt. Okay. I am a human fighter with a sweet mustache. Of course. Um, my name will be Benedict Mustache. Oh. Cover batch. <laughs> <laughs> Benedict mustache cover batch. That's what, what wasn't your mustache uh, like autonomous at one point? Is I think so. Okay. I think I think the mustache ended up being some kind of demon last year. Yeah, it didn't oh. fly out a window. At one point. I guess it came back. Yeah, they came back and made up. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing some uh, test dice roll so I can get, get rid of all my luck immediately. Uh, it's like straight twenties and really. <laughs> I, I am the dwarven fighter, Dougal McBig Fist. <laughs> Returning, returning once again. Uh, a little bit different. Got some uh, some green highlights in his hair. He's going through a little emo phase. He's, just, he's got yeah, some man. stuff going on. Frosted tips. <laughs> so he's a little more subdued, and it's definitely not because my throat hurts really bad. Okay. Aww. Aww. All right. Welcome, everyone. Get a round of applause for our intrepid adventurers, please. Briefly, my name is Robert Schwab. I do this game design thing for a living, and uh, yeah, I, we're debuting my new game, Shadow of the Demon Lord. You can play the analog in here. That's the only pitch I'm going to give, except for the occasional shout out to the game, because you know, I'm a shill. So here we are. Yeah, so uh, you have been traveling in these lands, we're going to call them the Middle Land, for a while, and you've ran across this gentleman by the name of Farmer Ham. 
Farmer Ham has a big problem. His problem is that he his has, name is Ham. His name is Ham. <laughs> he's also a hog farmer, and he's uh, his hogs have gone. Tell me if I can. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, yeah, so his name big. his name is Farmer Ham, and he <laughs> farms hogs. He he farms yeah, hogs. Badly. Like they just grow out of the ground, I guess. But uh, Same. that's a really unfortunate name to have. That just kind of locks you into one profession. Oh. What? Uh, so does Farmer Ham know anything about where these hogs might have gone? Well, so you you don't know too much yet. Uh, but for, you, you are headed to Farmer Ham's farm, uh, which is just outside of a little town called Thorpe. Uh, and Thorpe <laughs> is well behind you, and you are getting closer to Farmer Ham's abode. Now, Farmer Ham's abode is his little shack. On uh, that smells uh, distinctly of pig crap because this is a GMX game. We have to talk about feces. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so uh, you're getting closer to this place. You see that it's this little shack run down, sagging and uh, stinking, and there are some squealing hogs off the distance. And you see there's a large man, kind of round, balding, a little greasy, sitting on the porch. It's the Mario. <laughs> no. Poor Mario. We should have a moment of silence for Mario. All right, we'll keep going. All right, so you see him sitting on the porch, and he, uh, he's got a walking stick, and he kind of looks over at you as you're approaching. Uh, we approach him and say, What up, Ham? How's it going, Ham? <laughs> we saw your Craigslist listing. Uh, <laughs> needing, needing help. It seems like you need some pigs. Found. Well, I, I do need some pigs found, he says. Uh, I, I have been afflicted with... Something's stealing my hogs. <laughs> oh, no. Something's stealing my hogs. I don't know who or what or why. Is that them squealing in the distance? I well, think no, I, have, I, I still have some hogs left, but I know that I've got some missing hogs because when I count them, <laughs> uh, I have fingers left over on my other hand. Um, so I think what we need to do is chop off some of his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like the simplest solution. Uh, let's ask... Uh, Farmer Ham, if he might know who could have taken them. We'll, we'll, we'll true detect Does he have any suspicions? Yeah, any suspicions of who might have taken them? Well, I, I do have some suspicion, but you won't believe me when I tell you. You would we be shocked at sir. how gullible we are. Yeah. <laughs> Last year, my mustache was possessed by demons and flew off my face. I, you can't surprise us anymore. Uh, he makes some sort of sign to ward off evil in, in face of that, uh, your, your mustache, but he does give you a, a respectful look. Uh, <laughs> Everyone respects my mustache. <laughs> it is How rather fun. Uh, he says, so last night I was, uh, I was trying to see who was stealing my hogs, and I sat on my front porch, and I was, I was there uh, sipping on my, 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 jug, my jug. A jug. Jug of juice. Yes, and he, he has his jug nearby, and it's this kind of gross, slimy thing that he put in his mouth frequently. Can I have some? Yeah, uh, he does hand it over to you. Uh, can I take a swig? You, you most certainly can. Okay. <laughs> What's it taste like? Um, I, do you have to roll to see what it was? Or? Uh, you don't have to roll, but I think you, I'd like you to just imagine for a moment if you could put your tongue inside of a hobo's belly button. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> All right. So I was sitting up. I was sitting on my front porch last night, and there I was watching, sipping on my sippy jug thing. My and sippy jug. <laughs> I saw this curious figure stumbling out of the shadows. We're now all you're not going to believe. You're not going to believe when I tell you what this thing was. Tiny tape. No, it wasn't Tony. No, no, no. no what, I, what came out of the shadows was a pig walking upright as a man. Oh, oh my. Wario. <laughs> Are you saying that you might have been attacked by man bear pig? <laughs> I don't think man bear pig. Did it have any bear qualities to it? Yeah. <laughs> or is it mainly man piggy? I, I, I didn't see any bear qualities, although I couldn't see him from the waist down, but I did see that there was this big pig head thing and he seemed like his skin was kind of loose from his body. I promptly passed out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Curious. <laughs> Strange. I, I, there's a mystery afoot, fellas. Yep. There is a mystery afoot, and we need to solve the mystery of the pigman. Can I have some of that jug? Yeah, sure, here you go. Maybe this will help get to the bottom of the mystery. Get to the bottom of the jug. Maybe some kind of what, what direction did man pig 
stumble. Um, uh, he, he points a kind of a wiggling finger towards the tree line off in the distance. It's, it's, it's Seems about good a, enough for me. To the trees. <laughs> came from out there in the out there in the trees. You can see the trail that he. Well, of course, he didn't exist. It was just a. It was just a fantasy brought on by sipping on my jug of sippy jug. jug. No, I think it's real. I think it's real. Let's go investigate. I believe him. I believe it. Yeah. I, I feel we should go investigate the woods. Yep. That's always a good idea. Yes. <laughs> Experts. Maybe we should wait until night. But if we're going in the woods, <laughs> if we're going in the woods, you're coming with us. <laughs> we're not just investigating any random garbage in the woods on our own. Are you? Yeah. Well, Farmer Ham seems a little. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a little concerned about going in the woods. I was going to pay you a shiny silver shilling for your effort. Ooh. <laughs> Do you have any gold stars? We always. Uh, we... Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. good. <laughs> to the woods, adventurers. That's all I, all I needed to hear. Yep. <laughs> all right, so you start heading off the direction where farm, following Farmer Ham, and Farmer Ham does walk very, very slowly. He drags one of his feet behind him, <laughs> and you see that he has quivering, quivering lumps and, flow, and, and folds and other types of disgusting images on his back. I it almost back. seems like there's a topography of a, like, it's like a map of a countryside on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Curious. I think we better leave him behind. He's going to slow us down. <laughs> so you're going to just leave him behind? No, no, no. no I'll, say, just... I'll say, what, what is that on your, on your back, Farmer Hand? It looks like you have some kind of scribbles back there. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't see my back. <laughs> <laughs> looks like we got another you mystery got, on our hands, fellas. You just got told. <laughs> you just got outwitted by the I don't, sippy jug guy. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be downwind from him, so what if you go back there and check it out? <laughs> uh, I... I I just want to go get my shiny thing. Man. John Grandma, check out his back. <laughs> Grandma! Uh, Grandma, check it out. <laughs> You're small, you could explore the landscape. Yeah. Oh, the landscape. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> well, perceive it. <laughs> uh, I'd like to closely examine Farmer Ham's back. Okay, so as you're getting closer to his shirt, you smell uh, kind of a rancid, hammy, bacony kind of smell. Delicious. Uh, there's clots of buttermilk for uh, that are clinging to to a ham coated back. Uh, That's not how you drink buttermilk. <laughs> but uh, the, the shirt is sticking rather close to him, so you're seeing whatever is underneath through the shirt. Ooh. And it's not a it's not a it's not a light shirt either. It, it seems rather heavy. So this is going to be weird, Farmer Ham, <laughs> but take off your shirt. <laughs> this is going to be weird, Farmer Ham. Are you actually Ham? <laughs> you are, you are, I'm you, starting to think you might be. Are you literal Ham? ham. <laughs> so he said, what's wrong? What, what, do I need to take my shirt off? There's something back there. There's a spider. You should take off your shirt. Yeah, oh God. There's, a, there's a, a wasp on your back. You can take it off quick. So he struggles to get the shirt off, and <laughs> as he's pulling on the shirt, he, you see that he's actually tearing the shirt off of his body. Mm. Mm. And uh, what you see uh, as he's torn his shirt from his body is a big winking eyeball that's looking at you. Oh, huh. that's not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> so this is going to sound weird, weird for the farmer, farmer Ham. You got an eyeball on your back. <laughs> Who put it there? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't been able to sleep on my back in months. You don't say. You really, you really might want to see a doctor about that. That just seems like something that is not normal at all. When was the last time you were able to sleep on your back? I would say, um, it's been, well, months. I'd say probably three months. Mm. When did your pigs start missing? Well, that's kind of funny you mentioned that. I think it's been, why, why, it's been three months. Oh, oh. Wow. It feels weird when we're good at things. <laughs> well, we haven't succeeded at anything yet. Uh, it was the eyeball. The eyeball took it. Oh. It's hiding the eyeball. It's hiding in his back now. Oh. We need to cut it out. I, I would. I would like to poke the eye. Yeah. We have a. We have a special surprise guest. <gasps> Hello. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. What are we doing? You've come at a very strange time. <laughs> Investigating. Thank you. Thank you. Farmer Ham's sure. back. <laughs> super stupid person. You got that? Is that all set up for oh, me? Yeah. All right. We're, we're investigating a farmer's back eyeball. <laughs> 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 I think I'm going to bring up the speed better than that. <
Yeah. Did you just, just brief, it? Yes. Just to briefly catch up, uh, you are a band of intrepid adventurers traveling over the countryside to help out a uh, strange farmer by the name of Ham. He raises hogs, and his hogs are going missing. You've been following Farmer Ham off to the tree line, and you noticed that he has uh, an, a weird eyeball growing out of his back. Did you say you poked it? Yes, I did poke it. All right, the eyeball blinks at you. And it, <laughs> uh, and it seems about, it, it's flicking about and looks rather uh, upset. Uh, How does an eyeball look upset? <laughs> uh, it's kind of crying. <laughs> okay. Oh, <Aww. laughs> so bad. Uh, Farmer Ham, did, did you actually feel that, or? Far, uh, I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. I have no on. idea. <laughs> I have, I have a really high pun uh, stat right here. So I'm, yeah. I'm so proud. <laughs> Sorry, please continue. <laughs> he seems really confused. He's just standing there. I don't think Farmer Ham gets wordplay. No, I guess he doesn't. <laughs> Farmer Ham, but I am at a loss. Yeah. Do you think this eyeball has something to do with my missing hogs? Probably, but I... I don't really know where to I go. I don't really know how. <laughs> Let's keep going to the woods, Farmer Ham. <laughs> <laughs> Help us, Luigi. He's got another eye. Let's move on. <laughs> to the woods. I think it's a good idea. Okay. To the woods. Ignoring the eyeball. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> just, I'm kind of creeped out. I'm not going to lie. All right. Can he, can, can he see out of this eyeball? I'm guessing he can't. He, yeah, he, has to, he, he, can't, he couldn't see his back. So, okay. Uh, why, is, why is Farmer Ham winking at me? He's, I, he seems to be kind of like, uh, you see, the eyeball is kind of fixed on your, your lower part of your body. I'm not sure what's going on. Look nice. uh, uh, like at your knees. Ooh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. You do have very attractive knees, I must say. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so you continue on towards the tree line, and once you get to the tree line, you see that you're in, shockingly, a forest. Wow. Who knew? Who knew? Where did that come from? There's, uh, there's bits of blood and scraps of skin littering the forest floor. Oh. Guys, I found something. <laughs> <laughs> Touch it. Um, I, I would like to inspect the scraps of meat for, for pig smell. Yeah. Does, does it smell like bacon or uh, <laughs> uncooked bacon? Do you want to eat it? I would like to eat it. Okay. Luigi wants to eat it. <laughs> I'm a big Italian. All right, so without knowing what it is, Luigi puts a piece in his mouth. We'll get back to you. Uh, so, <laughs> and you're out. All right, thanks for playing. All right. Now you have eyeballs growing all sorts of weird places too. All right, so uh, no, the, the, the meat looks to be, uh, it looks ran rancid and uh, scraps of uh, pig hide, pig oh, okay. skin. But not cured like a football pig skin, but rather like you just cut a piece of pig skin off a poor pig. This is really gross. Curious. All right. I, I feel like, is there, is there a trail of pig skins leading anywhere? Of course. <laughs> yeah, okay. I feel like there's a connection here, guys. Maybe. I think we should follow the trail of pig skin. I uh, so John, does the skin belong to your pigs? Uh, he, the farmer hand bends over. It takes him a lot of effort to do that, and you see that he does give you a show. The eyeball's watching the entire time. <laughs> That's uh, quite terrifying. Because he, he tore off his shirt, so he's now right. half naked. Right. Uh, <laughs> which is you know, an optimistic way of looking at it. Uh, so he reaches down and looks at the pig and he says, well, I think this could be, this could be Bess. Bess? Yes, no! Bess is a terrible name for a pig. That's a cow's name. I'm so sorry, sir. Was Bess your favorite, sir? She was. Oh, Bess. I'm sorry for your loss. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow this trail of pig skins. John, Grandma, what you need to do is pick up the pig skins as we go so we can save them for later to make some fried pork skins because those are really good. Also, if we find Bess and she's okay, we can give them back. Oh. Yeah, we can put it back on. We have some duct tape. <laughs> Perfect. I think I still have plenty of room in my backpack. So yeah, good. So I'll, I'll gather up some of these meat scraps. Thank you. We'll have a victory stew after all this is done. <laughs> Farmer Ham licks his lips. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you follow the trail of discarded pig skins and uh, globules of blood that are still somewhat wet, and uh, you follow for some time into the, into the forest. The trees get more tangled, the place is spookier, and it's getting darker. But when you find, but the trail ends at a round building that, stand, that kind of stabs up out of the forest and is covered in ivy, and there is a broken stone door that leads inside a darkness. I throw, I throw John Grandma at the door. <laughs> <laughs> to open it. Okay, the door is yes. open, so... <laughs> I throw John Grandma at the door. <laughs> yeah. All right, John Grandma, you fly. You fly like yes. you've never flown before. Uh, it is... 
<laughs> uh, and luckily, you land just a few feet inside, and you catch yourself before you go over the ledge. John Grandma, what do you see? I see a ledge. All right, thanks uh, for coming. It looks... How far down does it go? Uh, it goes down for a ways. It goes down for a ways. Uh, There's a spiral staircase that pl it goes down on the outside of the wall. Going Are there down stairs? To... Yes. Uh, yeah. It seems like it'd be way faster just to jump, though. Yeah, you should jump. Of course. <laughs> Ball up and roll down the stairs. Do I have some rope here? No, I don't. Yeah. Um, Do you have a backpack full of adventures or stuff? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, rope is definitely adventurous. Do we have rope? Do you have to do a, a, a rope check? Or? Yes, you have to do a rope check. Okay, so that's the one thing that this game has, the rope check. We have rope. I have rope. I will save the day. Thank you so much. With the grappling hook. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so... Uh, yeah, so you're, it's, it's this weird kind of room that's, uh, that has no floor, drops down maybe 60 feet, and you think uh, it smells of water. Uh, you, as you guys are kind of getting closer up front, you see there's a bloody handprint on, on the door frame. Oh, it's a welcome uh, sign. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, it is getting full on, almost full on dark. Do we, can we set John Grandma on fire as a torch? <laughs> Do we have a torch? I've got a pipe. That'll work. <laughs> I can have my, my pipe lit and hold it up. I haven't actually looked at what I have, let's see. Adventurous stuff. Adventurous stuff, that okay. You could have the torches. Can we have it? Okay, let's, let's, oh, let's, let's light our torches. You have, uh, you have exactly uh, two torches. Okay. You just you. Everybody else has more, but you have only two. Okay, got it. <laughs> I, I, I double fist my torches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Yeah. So, right, so I light the torches and, and walk up to John Grandma to, to inspect. Okay. What to do next? All right. So uh, you do see that you are there is a ledge that uh, that kind of extends out over this empty space. There's Guys, there's still a ledge. Still a ledge, okay. and there's a staircase as a dimension that kind of does uh, wrap around the outer wall of this of this pit. At the very bottom is a pool of water, and your light kind of plays on the surface. Of the oh, if there's water. That's totally safe to, to jump down. Jump down. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need the rope. Yeah. Uh, Save water. your rope. <laughs> is it clear water? Is it black water? It's really dark water. Really dark water. That's, so that's that means it's deep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's deep and safe to jump into. John Grandma, I think, should jump into it. I've got plenty of rope. Yeah. <laughs> You were in the halfling diving team, so you're... Yeah. I, uh, I, would like, I would like to dive into the dark waters. <laughs> you are brave. And you're going to fly even... You're going to fly again. All right, so you leap off and dive down and fall uh, into the water. Uh, Get your scorecards ready. <laughs> I, I, I hold up a 6.7. At this point, I'm going to ask the audience, uh, raise your hand if you think... Uh, grandma falls into deep water, and you leave your hand down if it's shallow water. Uh, Alright, so it's deep water it is. You guys are right. fine. Oh. Grandma, you have survived this fall. Uh, you you plummet into the bottom uh, of this brackish, filthy, foul, just roll for disgusting size. Yeah. water. Please do roll for It's a decent splash. 13, okay. Uh, I Seven. Seven, yeah. All right, so you're watching John Grandma. It's kind of floating around in this pool of nasty water, and uh, you see something crawling out of the pool of water. Oh, dear. Uh, coming out of and coming up the stairs. And what it is, is, uh, it is it looks to be like a humanoid being of some kind, but doesn't have any skin on its body at all. Gross. Sir, I believe you found your skin. <laughs> and it's creeping up the stairs and looking at you, and licking its lips. Quick, kill the fire before it uh, John Grandma, do you still have those skin scraps? John yeah, Grandma is 60 all... feet below you. John Grandma, you saw the skin scraps! Yeah, but they're all wet now. I feel, like, I feel like we didn't think this through. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the rope. We're gonna lower the rope down so he can give us the skin scraps. Okay, so this weird skinless creature is creeping up the staircase towards the top, ignoring John Grandma, probably who knows why, and it's dragging claws along the wall and making a scratching, scritting, no that horrible noise. I think he just Sir, wants to talk. Sir, we don't have time for your theatrics, just tell us what you want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, it seems like it's in a lot of pain. It has no skin. Well, yeah, it has no yeah. skin. We, so we need to give it the skin. Yeah. Okay, we I... Can knock out two quests right here. Which yeah. What happened to Hogs? And also help this poor guy out. Help him, help him with his skin problem. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to do? Uh, let's start at the end of the table. What okay. would you like to do? Uh, I would like to uh, use my rope again. 
<laughs> That's a good choice. We let this man hang Greg's himself. The no. <laughs> All right. That's really dark. I like it. All right. <laughs> He's, he's got no skin, so why not, right? So, how are you going to do that? You're just going to throw the rope to him? I will throw the rope to him. There's a dagger, there's a hook at the end of the rope. So, you're going to throw the hook at him? Yeah. All right, I like that. <laughs> what, so, why don't you roll the, the, the big die, the 20 sided die? Tell me what you get. Uh, 17. All right, so you clock him on the head uh, with the grappling and the grapple at the end, and he Perfect. stumbles back, and a little surprised that he was so horrifically attacked. But and he has, it seems like he's calculated that this rope might be for hanging. But he, 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 might, he might figure it out. All right, so what are you going to do? Uh, I, I'm going to be very surprised. That was a very aggressive move. Yeah. That was very rude of you. I'm not, I'm not a fan of people with no skin. <laughs> Well, I'd really like to converse with Grandma, but since my throat is a little sore, I don't really want to yell. So I'm going to do a cannonball into the <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, I think you need to see if you can hit Grandma when you're jumping. Okay. Down. Yes. <laughs> why, don't you, Catch me. why don't you roll a d20 and tell me what, what number you get? The, the... Just any way you want. No, no. Five. Okay. Wait, so is the higher number we hit him or the higher number we don't hit him? I don't know, let's ask the let's ask the audience. Yeah. I'm, I'm wearing not. very heavy armor. <laughs> well, I think that a five is pretty poor. So we'll say that uh, you, you jump off and you didn't jump far enough and you land on a stair below. Oh. <laughs> uh, so you're going to take a two damage uh, from the impact of, of slapping into the stairs below. You do see the rope extending from the ledge down to the skinless guy and you are there and, and so what are you going to do? Uh, Benedict Mustache Cumberbund is going to, hmm, let's see, I feel like we should really put this, this poor soul out of its misery, so I, you guys are mean. I, I mean, he started it, I just wanted to talk to him. It was a very skin, try to talk to it anyway. Okay, I, I, I take out my, um, uh, let's see, short sword or longbow? Uh, Ask him if he wants to die. I, I brandish my quiver of arrows very menacingly at him and say, Sir, don't make me use these. What do you want? Okay, uh, he uh, just he opens his mouth and starts screaming. It's a high pitched scream. Same. All right, Grandma, you have this screaming naked guy putting out a pool of water. You see your buddy upstairs kind of rubbing his head. There's a rope and a grapple that's a little out of reach. What would you like to do? Chill out. <laughs> I don't know, this water's kind of nice now. Uh, well, it's, so the rope is out of reach, you said. You can't, it's, it's way out, you're, you're, you're wee anyway, but you're, you're in the water. Right? And this thing is on the don't stairs. Don't wee in the water. <laughs> don't wee in the water. <laughs> <laughs> wee in the water. Uh, there's no filtration system down there. That's gross. So there are, there are stairs coming out of the water, though, yes? Yeah. Hmm. So... Um, We'll see, I'm quite a ways below everybody else, except for, I think I'm gonna go help uh, Dougal out, since he's, yeah. he's, he's fallen and he can't get up because his armor's so big. Okay, so you know, you'd realize that to get to Dougal, he's only halfway down the pit, so you have to run past this naked dude. <laughs> well, I have to run past the naked dude. To get to, you, have to, you have to swim up to the ledge and then climb up the stairs and get past him. Say excuse me. I, 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 I am very small and also a rogue, so I would like to roll uh, whether or not I'm able to squeeze between his legs and run past him. Oh, yeah. behind that. So go ahead and roll a die. So, it, so you're running up the stairs, you're trying to squeeze past him, and... Nine. Okay, unfortunately, as you're going past, he reaches out with his horrible claw and pushes you back into the <laughs> Luigi, it is your moment to shine. What will you do? As, a, as an Italian, we love to surf. So, I'm going to take my heavy shield, and I'm going to ride it like a surfboard down the spiral staircase in an attempt to push him back into the water. With John yeah. Grandpa. <laughs> oh! It was a calculated decision. Choices were made. Casualties happened. All right, all right, Luigi. I like the, I like the cut of your jib. Uh, give me a roll of D20 and tell me what you get. Fifteen. All right, so you pull the Legolas, and you go sliding down the staircase on your shield. Awesome. Uh, you get about halfway down, and then you kind of 
you get almost all the way down, but you then fall into the water. But you're okay. But you're near John. You're near John Grandma. Is it right, John Grandma? And, and you guys can hug each other to hug it out. All right. So I missed you. Uh, it's good to see you. So what? It's now the uh, scary skinless dude's turn. So he's going to reach down and grab the rope that was thrown at him, and he is now going to start climbing up the rope toward you. No! <laughs> And so he's climbing this rope, bloody hands over bloody hand, and he's shrieking as he's doing this. You see he's actually screaming, blood's pumping as he's getting really upset and frustrated. And he's making his way up. So that's what he's doing, and you see his long claws are, 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 are coming closer towards you. It's your turn again. What would you like to do? I did a movie called The Hollow Man. This is very similar to that movie. <laughs> This is Kevin Bacon we're talking about. It could be. It could be. Kevin, Bacon. Kevin Bacon is climbing out of us. Bacon. Kevin Bacon, right? Kevin Bacon! Right? Get it? Get it? Okay. I didn't even realize what I just did. That's how good I am. Bam. Oh my god. Um, what am I going to do? He's climbing at you. He's, cl he's coming towards you. He's climbing at me. Um, oh boy. I, and I, am I quivering? I think I'm quivering. You can be quivering. Sure. <laughs> All right. Oh. Um, is the rope is the rope attached to me? You, you're holding it. I'm holding the rope. <laughs> you are holding the rope. I think I'm gonna let go of the rope. No, but then we don't have a rope. <laughs> no, but we can go get that rope. Oh yeah, this is John we Grandpa roll a nine there. again. We can go under his legs and get that rope. <laughs> so all right, you let go of the rope. I like I, I like that choice. How about you guys? You like that choice? Yeah. All right. So, yeah. All right, so the rope, you let go of the rope, the rope slides free from your hands and falls down, taking with it the scary skinless creature who then lands Kevin on Turkey Bacon. Let Kevin him go. Turkey Bacon lands on John Grandma. <laughs> So you feel this very, very warm, slippery guy. He's very warm. It's even, it's even, it's even warmer than, than warm. It's just disgusting. And it's kind of <laughs> flailing around you and pushing you under the water. And uh, you're covered with its gore, which doesn't seem to dissipate in the water at all. It's kind of like uh, he's covered in jello. All right, so uh, what do we have? Next? Well, like I said, this guy's a bully. And, you know, I, I've suffered a lot. People don't really accept my... my they don't get why My Chemical Romance speaks to me. <laughs> so, I'm not going to put up with it. I'm going to stand up for myself and I'm going to throw my axe at it. Yes! Yeah, Alright, you got to let me throw the axe. Please roll a 20-sided die and tell me you're going to get to be really great. 13. Uh, 13 is good enough. Uh, so, the axe sinks into him. Roll some damage, which is a d6. It's a 4. Four points. All right, so you sink the axe into his upper chest, and you see John Grandma. There's an axe sticking out of the water, and it's buried in his body. The thing is not happy about it. All right, what are we gonna do, with, uh, our mustached friend? Uh, since John Grandma is not handy for me to throw at this monster, <laughs> I'm going to take out my longbow and load up a quiver. And the the, I'm gonna be awesome and hold three at the same time. I'm gonna hold three arrows, and even though John Grandma is right beside him, I'm gonna haphazardly oh let him fly. Do it. All right. So I've got a shot. <laughs> I've got this. John Grandma, don't worry. I've got this. You gotta roll really high. Eight. <laughs> Uh, so, the, so yeah, all right, so it's kind of good for the monster. Uh, so two of the arrows disappear into the water. One strikes Luigi. Or, uh, Luigi, you take four damage uh, from the arrow as it sinks into your shoulder. I told you you'd be okay, John Grandma. I trusted you. I'm up here if you need me, guys. I, I would like to give some words of encouragement to Moustache. Here, it's, hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Exactly. <laughs> and 60% of the shots you do take. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, John Grandma, I think it's your turn. What would you like to do? So, let me get this straight. I'm now in the water, <laughs> wrestling with this jello monster man. <laughs> with an axe in his back. Chest. Chest. Back. Skinless Kevin Bacon. Mm. Skinless Kevin Bacon. <laughs> okay, skinless Kevin Bacon. So... Uh, can I grab onto his axe that is in his back? Can I reach it? Chest. Chest. Yes. You can, you can grab a hold of the axe that's in his chest. What would you like to do with it? You've got your hand on it. And it doesn't seem to like that very much. 
What does he do when I wiggle it? Uh, there's some whimpering, but you're kind of underwater, eh? So you really can't hear too well what he's doing. Uh, he probably just continues screaming. I can tell you there's, there's, there's nothing sexual about this at all. Uh, nothing at all. So, let's see. That, that, that axe is making a good handle, so I can hold on to that. And then I've still got my short sword here, so I would like to try and use that on him. I like the way you think there, sir. Go ahead and roll a 20 sided die. Four. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I rolled a four earlier. <laughs> it's alright. Alright, all right, so you try to, you're, you're fighting underwater, you got the sword in hand, but you cover this gelatinous fluid that's leaking out of its body. Your sword slips and falls somewhere into the darkness. Oh. 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 Hey, don't lose my axe. <laughs> All right, There's Luigi. probably some arrows down there somewhere. My only blade. Luigi, what would you like to do? You're in the water, and there's an arrow in your body. Yes. Thank you for the arrow. I'm going to pull it out of my no. shoulder yeah. in an attempt to stab Kevin Bacon oh in the bacon in, in, in an attempt to get him off of our grandma. Yeah. Get him off grandma. Get him off grandma. <laughs> All right, so you, grandma. you are going to get off grandma and... Uh, <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Right it's not my day. You're flailing around in the dark, you're underwater, you've got the arrow, there's pain, and you, uh, you, uh, the, the arrow, well, you rolled a three. Uh, so let's say that, just in the interest of not being fair, let's say you stab Brahma. <laughs> Uh, for four damage. Oh my I'm so God. Sorry. sorry. Wow. What kind of knife is this? <laughs> it's the arrow. It's the arrow. That was a good stab. It was a really, really good stab. You can hit the monster with that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, the, so the, the, the skinless Kevin Bacon is really upset about all this. <laughs> and, uh, skinless Kevin Bacon is going to slash at you with his clawed hands underwater. Grandpa. John Grandpa. <laughs> Uh, but he rolls a five, and so he falls, so he misses completely, and, and sinks a little deeper into the pool. So now you know what you see, you see bubbles kind of on the surface, but there's no sign of Luigi, Grandma, or Skinless Kevin Bacon. I think I'm going to climb down and help my friends. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's not the name of the game, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've done, you get to the bottom and you, uh, you walk down the stairs and you can get there no problem. And you are at, you're you're now at the this very. This is way better than jumping. <laughs> <laughs> There's I'm a little rest gather, area. I'm gather my rope and, and leave. leave. No. <laughs> uh, uh, Wait, where is Farmer Ham and all this? <laughs> That's a good we, question. Farmer Ham ran away. The coward. <laughs> Well, it's, it, when I say ran away, it's more like limped away slowly. Shrunkles uh, away, just kind of walks away. Right. See ya. <laughs> so who can I help at this point? Uh, so you don't see any of your friends in the pool. Jump in. Do it. Not yet. You can wait if you want. <laughs> but you don't see anybody there. You just see bubbles. I just see bubbles. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I'm going to jump in. There you go. I'm going to jump in with both feet. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. All right. And uh, roll the dice and see what happens. All right, roll a d20 and tell me what craziest results. That's, that's a good roll. <laughs> <laughs> I got a two. Oh. Oh. Grandma, no. <laughs> We're coming, Grandma. Don't worry. All right, so you hurl yourself off the, la off the last stair into the pool of water, the that filthy belly flop. <laughs> it is, it is. And Unfortunately, uh, you do manage to get, well, unfortunately, you get close to uh, Skinless Kevin Bacon, but you land a little too close, and you land on John Grant. <laughs> <laughs> and both of you are now uh, kind of holding each other <laughs> underwater. <laughs> and All right, uh, we, it is now your... Nothing sexual about this, though. <laughs> Nothing sexual you're, at all. You're, you're caressing and holding It's still up. early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? Well, I was serious. I really don't want to lose that axe. That was a gift from Grandma. So uh, I'm, I'm getting my axe back. I'm jumping in, too. I want to my axe. So, you're gonna leave, so you're still at the top, so you're going to leave all the way yeah, from the top. I, I like it, too. I like it. All right. Why don't you uh, give me a, why don't you roll that d20 and tell me what next is. Six. Okay, so you were halfway, remember, if I recall correctly, you were halfway down the stairs. This time you jump all the way across the, the room and land on another set of stairs. <laughs> you try. For three more damage. <laughs> I have 
have incredible life power. <laughs> Sadly, you, you just can't even throw yourself off the stairs. All right, so uh, you were you're there uh, next. Uh, where am I again? You were on top with me firing arrows down into the water. How many arrows do I have? I think you have all the arrows. Okay. So, I, so, so hypothetically speaking, if I just took all of my arrows and shot them all at once, I would still have arrows? Uh, maybe. We'd roll for that. Okay. I'm going to take out... Since three didn't seem to work, I'm going to take five out. Oh my god. All right. I'm going to take five out and fire it haphazardly into the bubbling water. Ow! <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what happens. Come on, natural 20. Come on, natural 20. Nat 20! Seven! <laughs> All right, so you rain five arrows of death down into the pool of water. The more I shoot, the more like it is to hit something. Uh, so, of the five arrows, three just kind of sink into the water. Uh, one does, does hit our friend uh, at the very end for two damage. Uh, and Sorry. Uh, the other one uh, hits Luigi for four more damage. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I would like to give more so words of encouragement to Mustache. <laughs> hey man, you're making some good shots. I'll keep going. <laughs> All right, John. I've been practicing. Oh, those arrows do some damage, man. <laughs> John Grandma, it is your moment to shine. All right, so I am still underwater, yes. <laughs> you still are. wrestling with Kevin Bacon. Uh, and the rope wielding ally. Uh, yes. Oh, so we've got. Uh, we, we have the rope. Rope, rope, rope is here now. Okay. Yeah, rope and dagger. And no, grab the rope. Oh, your dagger's okay. at the bottom of that water somewhere. Ooh. Okay. Um, Along with a whole bunch of arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to those, Luigi. <laughs> Can you toss me that grappling hook on the end of your rope? Oh God. I have an idea. Oh no. Holding each other. <laughs> Just hand it to me. <laughs> you have to throw hard. You, you say go. that very casually while underwater. <laughs> See, that's the level of teamwork we have. Energy. Exactly. That's not my grappling hook. <laughs> there you go. It's still early. I would like to try and tie the rope around uh, the axe that is stuck in Kevin Bacon. And... Oh my god. Yes. And, uh... Let's see. How close are we to the surface? <laughs> You're about uh, three feet. Okay, so that's not that. Not well. I'm How tall are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's not gonna work. Um, does anyone else? Let, well, hmm. you, you you feel like Luigi is there and feeling left out. <laughs> no, uh, I'm in shock. Oh, the hug. Yeah, good. Good. <laughs> I'm gonna try and toss the uh, the other end of that rope up towards the surface uh, to see if somebody else can Fine. grab it and pull Skinless Kevin Bacon away from us. Okay, that's a cool idea. How are you gonna How are you gonna let them know your plan while underwater? <laughs> I will. I will so if you see a rope float to the surface of the water, what's the first thing you're gonna do? I yank on it. Yeah. Shoot arrows at it. Shoot arrows. Luckily, his turn is first. <laughs> All right, so you're just going to toss the rope up to the surface? Or yes, and hopefully my teammates will be able to understand what I'm thinking. So are you going to be tossing the grapple end of the rope, or are you just going to put the rope up? Well, the grapple end will probably sink, I would think. Well, it'll it? have more weight, too, so you might get some inertia. Yeah, well, you might be able to Batman it and get it stuck in the Will the wall. grappling hook part float? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to, the grappling hook part is going to be tied on, on, uh, Skinless Kevin Bacon, I'm going to toss the rope part up towards the surface. Okay, no problem. A, a, a Lots of rope starts floating up to the top, and now there's rope floating on the on the surface. There's right a snake! <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> All right, Luigi, it is your moment. My moment again, yes. I'm going to... It's the to, year of Luigi. <laughs> I'm running out of breath, so I'm going to turn to the surface and see the rope. And with the rope, I'm going to tie it off and begin to pull. Okay. That's very heroic. All right, so you uh, swim to the surface and you get to the top and you do see the rope, much to your surprise, and you were able to pull it off and tie it off in the end. You do see, uh, uh, 
you see the arrow guy, uh, uh, the mustache, Benedict Mustache. Benedict Mustache cover button. And a Duggan, who is not far, uh, although he is kind of leaning on a, on a staircase. So uh, the monster, however, is not liking being pulled up. So he is going to uh, pull the axe out of its body. Uh, and it we didn't does. think of this. <laughs> Uh, it wrenches the axe out of his body, and he's going to strike at... Uh, no, no. <laughs> yes, he's coming for you. Uh, and I rolled a 13. What is your armor rating? It's in the top left-hand corner. My armor rating? Yes, sir. Uh, episode 7. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> My armor rating is 17. 17. All right, so he misses you, and the axe sweeps past your face. So you're it hits okay. John Grandma. <laughs> it strikes Grandma for no reason. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's your turn. What do you do? Um, it's I'm, floating up above you. It's floating. The, the rope is floating. It floats. But rope is floating. It is floating. You're all kind of floating. But I can grab that rope and pull myself out of the water. You totally can. Save myself. You can. <laughs> and screw these guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull myself out of the water. No, you're not a uh, team player. No, I am. I, 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 I'm here to save everybody. You have to save yourself. Right. If we were on a plane, I would have the mask on myself first. That's right. Watch That's what hand. they tell you to do, so yeah. Okay. You can't deal damage if you're dead. That's right. <laughs> Uh, so that's what I was going to pull myself up. Perfect. You get out of the water and you are on the ledge and you see the monster kind of close to the top and he's dripping in gore and blood and everything and you do see Luigi there with the rope and he seems to be pulling on now just the rope. So you're up there with Luigi. <laughs> I've okay. got this. All right. Lucky you. All right. Okay. So, uh, 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 Duggan. Dougal. 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 Sorry. That I, happens all the time. I really, <laughs> I really want that axe back. <laughs> Because I don't think that this gore monster, Kevin Bacon, is going to treat it with the respect it deserves. It, it was a gift from Grandma! Yeah. Wait, uh, your grandma or that grandma? Yes! Okay. <laughs> uh, so, I, I would, I, I, I'm jumping again! <laughs> but now I'm aiming specifically for Kevin Bacon. Do a flip this time. Yeah. Alright, so you are going a to... A rage flip. A rage so flip. Bad. Right, so this time I'm going to give you an asset for your rolls. So you roll a six out of your d6 with your d20 and add them together. Okay. <laughs> Math. 14 total. 14 is wonderful. All right, you land on Kevin Bacon and you deal. Is, is Kevin Bacon's foot loose by any chance? <laughs> uh, it, it does seem to be a little loose. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this guy. All right, so uh, you land on him and do six damage to Kevin Bacon, and That's Kevin Bacon is not happy about this at all. It seems to be near death. Yeah. All right, Archer. Shoot his foot. <sighs> Shoot the water. I'm not in there anymore. <laughs> we're gonna. We're bringing. We're bringing it up to six. I ready six. We're gonna do this. I have heavy armor. It's yeah, fine. it's fine. All right. Natural twenty. Let's I got do this. Shield and stuff. So. Eighteen. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you hit and you hit with all six of those arrows. Yeah! Come on, Kevin's dead. <laughs> Kevin is now dead. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> what would you do without me? Well, I'm would have less arrows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, dead Kevin Bacon is floating on the surface of the, of the water. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. you can get, he does, you were able to get the axe back before it falls into the bottom of the pool. And I got my rope back? It's all over, you got your rope back. Oh, we did it! This is a complete success! Yeah. Hey, why are you guys bleeding so much? <laughs> <laughs> Just guy. Uh, this guy. <laughs> All right, so you're at the bottom of this pit. There you see the staircase that goes up. There's a pool of water. You haven't looked in the pool of water much, although some of you were under it. Uh, and you're there. Hey, do you guys think he took the pigs? Ask <laughs> him. <laughs> what, what I think we should do is we should take these uh, scraps of, of skin that we were saving for uh, fried pork skins later. We should see, and see if it's like a puzzle, see if we can fit it back on. <laughs> To uh, skinless Kevin Bacon. Smart. Yeah. It's, Smart. it's like it's like a puzzle, so we can we can fit them all together and see if, if, the, if that's if the skin matches Kevin Bacon. Oh, this can be a fun group gonna... activity. I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna warn you, they're kind of soggy by now, so they may not fit. That just means they'll stick better. They'll stick yeah. better. It's fine. Okay, so you're going to start reassembling uh, Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Dead Kevin Bacon. Okay. Uh, you... <laughs> 
you do manage to get an arm and most of the chest covered, and it's kind of gross, but uh, you don't have enough to cover the whole thing. Uh, but it does seem to be his skin. No. No. <laughs> but it's a cool idea, so. Well, well, I think it was a good idea. Well, I try. Take it off. We'll get rid of this. It's evidence. <laughs> It's the, it's the effort that counts. Right? Yeah. I mean, if we cook it, it'll take off all the germs. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. So we put, we put the skin back into John Grandma's bag. We'll find who it belongs to at some point. Is there... Can we look around to see if there's any exits or further yeah, into... Maybe at the bottom of the water? Yeah. So, uh, My sword's still down there. Do you want to go down and take a look? I'd like to jump in again now that it's safe. <laughs> Now that it's safe and he's out of arrows. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not out, I'm not out of arrows. I have all the arrows. <laughs> all right, so you, you, jump in the, you jump into the water. It's really dark, but you can make out enough from the, from the light from the torches that... Uh, Light a torch down there, so you can see. In the underwater, yeah. Underwater. yeah. yeah. Uh, right, so uh, you were able to see from the torch light that you brought with you that there is a, uh, a metal grate that's set in the wall. What did I see? Uh, and... Uh, Part of, the, part of the, the middle of it has been broken open, so it uh, seems like there's bits of flesh that are attached to it, like it's scratched through it. Follow the flesh, I say. Yeah. I live my life that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I don't know why guys attacked by one skin this monster. Yeah. yeah. So we swim towards the, the, the uh, grave, the hole in the grave. Okay, so are all of you going to do it, or is yeah, it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on, guys. I'm really good at holding it. my breath. Let's go. All right, so what are you, so you going to do, though, when you go underwater and you have no light? Is it okay that you're going to go underwater with no light? I just want to make sure. I don't see a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do I not, do I not I have... Two hours I don't see. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Do, I ha do, do I happen to have any... Uh, I have lots of torches. Do I happen to have any that might work underwater, like a flare or something? Uh, what do you think, kids? Yes? I have thieves tools. Uh, thieves tools? Uh, I have tools. I have thieves tools. Would a flare be in thieves tools? Uh, yeah, it thieves sounds work like, at night. <laughs> they do work at night. Uh, so it seems like I've got a lot of no's, but it's okay. There might be something on the other side. So uh, you start swimming, and it's dark. The last of the torch goes out. And you, uh, and it's slimy, and it's it's thick with with stuff that kind of hangs from the ceiling. You have to pull your way through it. I say, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> so about halfway down this this passage while you're underwater, something bites you. Ow. Something small. Grandma. Yeah. Grandma, cut that out. Sorry. <laughs> Quit nibbling on me, Grandma. Oh. Something's biting. Uh, which one? Uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna be the mustached archer for right now. Ow. Bubble bubble. Get out. <laughs> Uh, I tap, I, I'm well versed in the, uh, the scuba uh, hand motions Arts that you do. Scuba. Yeah, that. Uh, I actually, actually have a tank on him. Uh, I, I, I poke John Grandma and I go, John Grandma can't see you. I keep swimming. <laughs> Alright, so uh, as you're swimming, you were all starting to feel like you're being bitten. Okay. Ow. Cut uh, that out. Hey. I think I take a dagger and start stabbing whatever's behind me. Are, are they really hard bites, or are they just sort of little, like, love nibbles? Uh, they start as love nibbles, but they become, they become more uh, insistent. Piranha. If, maybe. Uh, and when you start stabbing at the things, you, you feel like it's something hard, like a hard shell. It's Turtles. rock piranhas. Do you want to keep swimming? <laughs> They're Koopas. They're If it's hard, it, it could be Grandma. Yeah. Nothing sexual about that at all. <laughs> if the pies are hard, it could be Grandma. Ah. <laughs> you put that on a shirt. <laughs> uh, Just keep swimming. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, for the love of Christmas, Pete, you get to the other side and you come out and you break from the surface. Uh, you come out of the tunnel and you come to the other side and you see that you're covered with these albino tiny crabs that are, that are all over your body. Oh. And they're nibbling and pulling at you. You're so cute. Oh, Crabs again. <laughs> Grandma has crabs on. Uh, uh, Grandma has crabs. Uh, um, I'm sorry, Grandma, for giving you crabs. Can we, can it's we, okay. It's not the first time. Can I, start, can I start to pluck them off myself? You can. Okay, I pluck the crabs off myself. Uh, do you have a little comb in your adventures, kid? I brought some of that special soap. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, uh, you take care of your, your infestation, and uh, you, are, you find yourself standing on... Oh, I, want, I want to keep one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Name it Randolph. Yeah. All right, so you have a little albino crab, and uh, he seems to be particularly feisty, and is glad to be your pet. Good. Uh, 
crab yeah. charmer. You are a crab whisperer, even. Uh, all right, so you find yourself in another room. It's a circular chamber. Uh, there is dim light coming from overhead. Uh, there. <laughs> there is a, a long Wilson. ledge. Waffle. Right. A ledge, a ledge, and that's you, that's and it's covered with uh, black mold. Uh, it stretches across the ledge and on the wall, and you see there is a round door that's covered in this mold. Uh, can I scrape some off with my dagger into a vial and taste it? <laughs> yes. I want to. I want to see. I want to see if we can use it for anything. It might be some kind of. It might be a reagent. It might be some kind of potion. So you're gonna, you're gonna taste. Yeah, you're gonna taste the black mold. This is the type of mold that a tiny albino crab would eat. We can ask. We can ask Waffles. I'm gonna say you have no idea. I, I'm All right. not really sure either. So we'll, we'll do. You, do you want Waffles to be a guinea pig? I'm not gonna force feed him. I, can I hold Waffles up to the mold to see what his reaction is? Uh, his reaction is to nibble, to, to, to snap at your hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think Waffles really cares. <laughs> well, I guess it's up to me. You taste it then, yeah. 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 I tried. What does it taste like? Uh, all right, all right, audience. Is this going to be a good outcome or a bad outcome? Show of hands for a bad outcome. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, um, you, you taste this, this foul, foul, foul stuff, uh, and it, it, it really does like, like eating a eating out of a urinal at LA airport. So, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, as you do. Uh, so, uh, I'm bad. I'm bad. Uh, but you feel you feel as though uh, some, that something is is burrowing into your tongue. Oh God! I'm bad. <laughs> I hold out my tongue. Is there something on my tongue? <laughs> Uh, you, you see that there is, it looks to be like a, uh, uh, like a swiggly line on his tongue, and it seems to be growing legs, and they're spreading through his tongue. Oh. I get my own waffles. <laughs> Alright. The this, the this I, I think you might have a case of spider tongue. <laughs> Can I pull waffles up to the, to the now growing creature to see his reaction? Uh, waffles uh, looks to you with his big eyes and is very frightened. Oh no! And he kind of scuttles back up your arm. Oh, no. Okay, uh... The tongue's gotta go, man. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I pull it off my tongue and flick it at John Grandma? Uh, what do you think, audience? Should he be able to pull it off his tongue? No. Yeah. Raise your hand with a yes. Uh, that's about 50-50, so I think you're gonna have to roll. Okay. <laughs> this has always gone creature. very well. <laughs> Six. I have a hatchet. <laughs> Alright, so you grab a hold of this thing that's growing inside of your tongue, and you are pulling and pulling and nothing's coming out. Oh, and it hurts. I have an idea. So we have torches that can cauterize a wound. I have an axe yes. that I like to use. Oh my God. <laughs> no. also, got, also, I've got throwing knives, which are, you know, they're decently sized. I can use those. I guess for, don't if we need fun. precision. I got a dagger. <laughs> I have the torch ready if you want to cut it off. Can I, can I, can I try to take my dagger and kind of scrape it off? Like oh the tongue with the dagger or cut it off? You definitely need to roll for that one. <laughs> <laughs> With you. I think that's going to be also a roll. I think this is it possible to shoot an arrow at my tongue? <laughs> <laughs> you can't shoot an arrow at your at, at your face if you'd like to. Uh, I think the knife might be a little bit. You've got the you got the bow in your hands and you're like pushing it out with your feet. You got the, you got the, the string out with your feet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll try the dagger first. That's great. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's also going to be rolled this time because it's now getting really big. You're going to have to roll a six out of to go with it and subtract that, num that number from your 20. Alright. Oh. 10. 10. Alright, so you start digging into uh -huh. your tongue to get this thing out and you manage to get off a bit, of the fl a bit of it and it seems to be squiggling around and there's growing a lot of hairs out of the one end. Sweet, my mustache is going to be even better. <laughs> but so there's still half of it attached. It's going to be one damage for that. Eh. I got 14 more. <laughs> Alright, so what are you guys going to do? You see this thing that's kind of flopping around in his mouth. He now has like two tongues, one's growing hair. <laughs> I say we leave him. <laughs> Creature. It's consuming you. Am I correct? It looks. It could be. Yeah. Saw alien. Yeah. Yeah. Without the sprouting mustaches. Seriously. It's all right with me. Good. 
I would remind you that we are going to get one shiny silver shilling every time this <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, it's, I think <laughs> there's some connection here. Oh, I missed that part. Let's yeah. stay here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I came in late. <laughs> so, so Luigi said that you like to touch it with your holy symbol. Would, would no. you would you allow him to t to put his holy symbol into your mouth? <laughs> also, nothing sexual. <laughs> if he insists. Uh, do you gently put your holy symbol into his mouth, or do you just thrust it in there? Thrust it in there. Okay. Oh, no. so, the first time he's done it. Uh, go ahead and roll a 20 second guy. There's nothing dirty about this. Yeah. Alright, so you successfully just jam it in there, and uh, you, uh, the holy symbol rests upon this horrific thing that's growing in your tongue, and you feel it burn. Uh, take uh, one more point of damage, and the thing falls out of your mouth like you just coughed up a clot of blood from having your wisdom teeth extracted. How about oh, thanks. That? Luigi, Luigi, I think you need to pray for him. I think that's the only thing left. Let's pray. We touch you to pray. Okay, join hands, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Dear heart of Jesus, uh, Jesus bless his tongue. All right. All right, so it is a little hairy creature, right? It's a, it's a now a burned up dead hairy creature on the ground. But it is dead. It's very dead. All right, I'm gonna take it and I'm going to apply it to my mustache so I have an even better mustache. Yeah, I, I like that idea. All right, so uh, your, your prayer of healing thing uh, does give you four. It, you heal four damage. Okay, so I'm fine now. Why did we do that for? Can I can I, can I, can I, go, over, can I go over the max because I only I have 15 minus two. Can I have? Can no. I have even more? Mm -hmm. Can I be super ripped? You can be super ripped, but... Yeah! It add any See? It just Eating them all helped! Wait, it makes your mustache even bigger. I'll, I'll draw some abs on. Okay. <laughs> now I have abs. You got an eight pack. I have an eight pack now. Good. Nice. Absolutely. You are, you are, you are ripped. Alright, so there is a... Uh, it used stone. to just be a juice box, but now it's... Like, there is a stone plug in the wall on this ledge covered in black mold. And you have a new mustache. Grandma, that mold was really good. You should try some. <laughs> well, I don't have a mustache yet. <laughs> I always wanted to thrust my my symbol into your mouth too. So. It's <laughs> well, you said you said there was a there was a door that we still haven't gone through yet. That is correct. We should probably we should probably check that out. That. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna test that door. See if it's see if it's locked. Or roll roll for door. <laughs> okay, so uh, it is a big big stone plug. There are, as you're looking at the door, you see that underneath the mold there are spots where you could put hands in and maybe turn it, or turn something in the door. How many hands do you need to turn this door? Uh, you, need, uh, you need five hands. Five hands. I only have two. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I, I don't get it. This is an impossible puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> Can I throw John Grandma out the door? <laughs> to see if helps. You do, and uh, John Grandma bounces off the door. Uh, I've done all I can do. <laughs> it's unbreakable. Yep. If John Grandma cannot break I guess we'll never find those pigs. Oh well. <laughs> Bye everyone. See you next year. At least I got a new pet. <laughs> you know what? Since I, since I have the little hairy spider thing on my mustache and I already have one, John Grandma said he wanted one. I can give it to him to say sorry. Oh. Okay. Drop the mustache. <laughs> But anyway, we should try to open this door. Wait, hold on a second. What? I don't have five hands, but there are five of us. Oh, hey. Whoa. Uh, but that's, but that's ten hands. <laughs> <laughs> one oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Wait, wait, how many, how many hands does Waffles have? Uh, well, he's a crab, so I guess he has claws. <laughs> no, doesn't he have multiple legs, too? Yeah. Could you, like, try to wrap he's him around it? Small, and, though. and he's still spooked. Okay. Oh. Let's all team up with one of our hands and turn it together. All right, as a show of teamwork and of, of cooperation, you manage to open the door. Oh, quack, 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 quack. <laughs> all right, so the door opens and it rolls into the wall, and you see there is a passageway beyond. And at the end of this passageway, uh, there are three other corridors one to the left, one to the right, and one straight ahead. We should probably split up. Let's split up, gang. <laughs> Uh, in the center, of the, in the center of, the, of this of this intersection, you see on the floor a red bubble of glass. It's about the size of a dinner plate. Let's break it. Do go break it. Break it. Break it. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna break it. Uh, I'm gonna wreck it. I'm gonna yeah. punch it. Okay, I like that. That sounds good. Uh, so you uh, go forward and you you shatter it with what? Your face. With, with my fist. 
<laughs> All right, so, big fist. so you smack at it, why don't you roll a, a d20 and tell me what you get. Nine. Alright, your fist bounces <laughs> off the glass. Oh. oh. It's it's impossible. It's not <laughs> <laughs> what grandma I have. Ah. Hey. This I, hasn't failed yet. <laughs> I pick up grandma and throw it at it. We have to break this glass, guys. You do. Roll? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen. All right, Grandma, you, you fling Grandma uh, at the at the glass bubble, and the glass bubble does break. Yeah! Way to go, Grandma. Ow. I think you can do it. All right, so Grandma, as you are headfirst into this uh, glass bubble, you see that it opens up into a room below. It's not big enough for anybody that's bigger than you to go through. Uh, uh, but idea. at the very bottom, you see that there is a person, kind of looks like a person, wearing uh, a pig head, and is covered in pig skin, and oh. looking up at you. Oh. Hey, that's the thing. Hey, <laughs> I saw Pigman. Man. <laughs> can we, can we throw we Doodle? Should, I'm only, I'm only well, stuck in. Ask him if he took the pigs. <laughs> yeah, it is until proven guilty. Is all. he part of the Bacon Brothers? Is he is. Another <laughs> yeah. Bacon Brothers. Another Bacon Brothers. Bacon V2. So just my head is stuck through this hole right now. Right, your head is stuck in the hole and it's surrounded by broken glass, which uh, is okay. Uh, <laughs> Safe. Either you guys are gonna have to tell me what you want to ask, what what you want me to ask him, or you're gonna have to push me in there. Try well, or both. We know what, what we should do is we should get you to ask. Since there's three corridors, I'm guessing one goes down there. You should ask him which one we need to take to go yeah. down there yeah. and ask him some questions. Ask how how we get there so we can solve this diplomatically. How do I get down to you? Uh, he doesn't make any noise, but you see as you're looking at him, you see that the pig head is really not his head. Uh -huh. It's a mask. And that there is a, you see there's some blood leaking out of the eye sockets. And it's inexpertly fitted to his head, so it's kind of skewed over to the side. And so when it breathes, there's a bubble in the cheek. Huh. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> Nothing. Hang on a second. I asked you a question, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, still nothing. Still nothing. Okay. Uh, so what we should do is we should stomp on John Grandma's butt to make him go down. Yeah. Because maybe he just can't. Maybe he's hard yeah. of hearing. Yeah. <laughs> and if and if all this else, giant head. If all yeah. else fails, what I could do is I can still I can still shoot arrows through the hole to help him if yeah, I need to. Yeah. Work. And then there are three of us who are left over to take the different paths. Yeah. yeah. And we'll get there eventually. Yeah. Yeah, so let's stomp Grandma. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so you're curb stomping Grandma. Okay, okay. Uh, so you are stepping and pounding and kicking at Grandma. Grandma, I think you're going to take some damage from this abuse. Uh, give me a show of hands if you think it should be two. Yeah, two or more? Do you want more? No, more damage? No. All right, we'll do, we'll do two damage, Grandma, as pieces of glass are being driven into your upper body. Oh. Well, as you're, as you're, you, you are as inching into the hole, but as, uh, as you're inching into the hole, the pig creature runs off. Oh. Which way did the pig creature go? Uh, it seems like it's going over to the left. I'm going to the right. Yeah. <laughs> Me uh, and Waffles will split it off. So, Grandma, you are almost in the room. Do you want to you tell them this way well, they really can't hear you? You just have your feet in your midsection that are sticking out. Hmm. Uh... So, I've, I've seen this pig man run away. Yes. He, you're going the wrong... No, don't go that way. He's, he went the other way. He, you, you're going the wrong way there. We haven't gone I, I'm going to say that you, that you guys can't hear Grandma. We're, we're busy point. stomping. Uh, yeah, we're still trying to push this through. This really hurts my feet, guys. <laughs> I'm still wearing sandals. <laughs> no, we told you no open-toed shoes on adventure. <laughs> That was, that was in the orientation package. Yeah. All right, Grandma, you fall into the room, and you're going to take uh, another four damage from sure, the fall. Like almost oh. dead. Well, luckily, uh, I'm going to catch my breath. Okay. So give me three more. All right, so you kind of catch your breath as you're landing. You land in the bottom of this room. This room is, is weird because there are pig carcasses that are nailed to the walls, but they've all been skinned. Uh, Curious. <laughs> and they're all bloody and nasty and gross. And uh, there's a big pile of poo in the corner as well. Of course there is. <laughs> and it's, it's GMX Adventure, you gotta have a pile yeah. of poo. Uh, and there's also a passageway with bloody footprints that leads out. I mean, haven't we technically found the pigs then? I, I don't see why we don't get our reward. Yeah. It sounds like it. Can, can one of us take out our cell phone and, and give John, or not John Hamm, uh, give Farmer Hamm a call? 
Send the homing pigeons. Fortunately, you left your cell phone in your car. It probably, it probably wouldn't have a good reception down here anyway. <laughs> no, yeah, this is all concrete around us. Keep in mind that you only, there's a hole only big enough for uh, Grandma to fit through. What do you see, Grandma? What? I, so what are the rest of you doing now that you've kicked Grandma down into the hole? And we're looking through the hole. Mm -hmm. You see Grandma and some poo. And, and, and a bunch of pigs stapled to the wall. Pigs stapled to the wall. <laughs> what, uh, what, what do you think we should do, Grandma? Well, how many entrances are there to that room? Just one. Just the one? So is, should we all maybe put those skins on and pretend that we're pigs? <laughs> That's good. Plenty of suits for us. So <laughs> just, to, just to be clear, these, are, these pigs don't have skins. They are no. skinless pigs. Oh, they're skinless pigs on the wall. They've been stapled to the wall. Good luck, up. Grandma. <laughs> well, uh, I do still have those skin bits in my bag, so I can make sure that these Find are the same pigs. Find Shoot. best. Yeah. Put skin back on. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take those those skin bits out of my bag again and see if they match up with those pigs, just to make absolutely sure that they are indeed the same pigs. These are the pigs we're looking for. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to walk out of here with somebody else's pigs. Uh, Can we make the hole bigger and join Grandma? You, you, you could probably do that. It would be a, it'd be a lot of work because it's a stone and uh, yeah, it's a stone floor. It's a couple feet thick. There might be a way to get down there by one of these side passages. I guess we should split up and I'll take one of the passages. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I'm, we'll meet you at the bottom, guys. Yeah. You can all go a different direction. Yes. Sure. Yeah, well, well, that's a great idea. people are going to have to go with each other. Not it. Not it. <laughs> All right. Well, I agree waffles. That word, team. That's <laughs> so, you know, Shaggy and Scooby always go by, each by themselves, so waffles and Doo have to go by themselves. Okay. So I'm taking the left passage. I'll take the center passage. Anyone who wants to come with me can. I'll follow the arrow shooter. And I've got a panel to get to. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, no, it disappeared. Oh! oh! <laughs> well, now we can each take one passage. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll find out what happens uh, to our errant adventurer some other time. All right. <laughs> Thank you for letting me play, guys. This is Thanks for the <laughs> He said he had to get a panel to get to. I don't know what he's talking about, but, uh, you know, I guess we just keep... He disappeared. He disappears, guys. <laughs> I don't know where he went. He's I logged off. I don't, I don't know what this panel he speaks of is. Okay, so I'm still lag. Taking, <laughs> I'm still taking the, the left panel. I'll there. take center. I'll go right. Okay. Right. John Grandma's. You just I'll just chill out and wait for you. <laughs> you. Well, you have a mystery to solve. You have to find who's where Bess is. Earn your paycheck, idiot. <laughs> there's, so, there's so many pigs in here. Well, good. Really it might take us a while. Okay. <laughs> just don't eat Bess, because he said that was his favorite. I can't tell which one's which. <laughs> they don't have name tags stapled on them? Oh, I guess that would just be follow, on the skin. Just follow your heart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know which one is best. You know it to be true. Roll for best. Star Wars? Oh. If there's one thing I know, it's that Grandma can tell a good pig. So yeah. You'll, you'll know. Grandma knows your meat. Is there anything I can build Nothing. a, a small no, campfire exactly with? Right. Uh, sure. Yeah, you've got, a, you've got campfire fixings in your bag. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna whip up a little campfire and, uh, Start start cooking up a little bit of a uh, pig meat while I'm waiting for him. Okay, that sounds that sounds good. All right, maybe more chops. Some maybe pig maybe it'll attract pig mask man. Yeah. Back. All right, so the, uh, going left was that all the way at the end? Yes. Okay. So uh, you go you go to the left hand passage and you're by yourself and it's dark. Do you have a torch lit? Uh, yes. Of course you do. All right, so you come to a closed door. The door is it's just a wooden door. There's a bloody handprint on the door. Oh my. Zoinks waffles! <laughs> what have we got ourselves into this time? Uh, can uh, I try to push open the door? Oh, you most certainly can. Okay, I would like to do that. Alright, you push open the door, and it opens into a dark and shadowy room. Oh. There are, uh, to your left and to your right, there are four uh, skeletons of humans, humanoid skeletons. <gasps> Staying against the wall. So a total of eight of them. And at the very far end of the room, there is a passageway that seems that it's, it, it descends down. Oh. Well, these guys, they could have just taken that door. <laughs> they wanted their own fault. Uh, so I, I would like to think nothing of the skeletons because... Why don't you search them for goods and treasures? 
Because I'm a man on a mission, and that's the fine best. Right. I don't, I don't care about these material things, man. <laughs> okay. Get you some bone meal. It, me and Waffles, we're just gonna keep on trucking. Because if I pay attention to all the bad things, then I have to acknowledge them. Oh. Uh, all right, that's fair. Uh, uh, middle passage, was that you? Middle passage? All right, so you head down the middle passage, and you, go, and you also find a door at the end of that hallway. I throw John Graham, oh, he's not here. Uh, <laughs> your ace in the hole is gone. Does it have, does it have a, a, a door handle on it? It does, it's a, it's a ring. It might be locked, I shoot an arrow at, at it to shoot the lock off. Okay, the, it's no, there's no lock, but if there was, it would have been a door. Sweet, okay, open the door. All right, you open the door, and you see that there is beyond uh, a long hallway. Uh, and at the very end of this hallway is a statue of a beautiful woman. Ooh! And she has a a glittering, a glittering gold coin in her left eye. I want that! I, I take my double fisting uh, torches and run just full tilt down that hallway. Okay, the... we'll come back to that in just a second. <laughs> All right, Luigi, uh, you head down this passage, and this passage goes for a while, and you find it comes to a door. The door is closed. Can I open the door? You most certainly may, can open the door, and do you? I do open the door. All right, you open the door, and you find that it opens onto a ledge, yet another ledge. This one is a, it's a marble floor. It goes for about maybe seven, eight feet, and crumbles at the very end. It seems like it opens to a huge cavern. It's dark, and there's little rays of light that come down from above. Neat. Cool. Is there a, look around the room. Is there any stairs? Anything I can go down or around? Or... So you come, you, you crawl up, do you walk up to the I edge? Baby crawl. All right, you baby <laughs> crawl to the edge. Baby crawl to the edge. Baby crawl to the edge, we'll come back to you. All right, so you are heading past the skeletons, correct? Yes, because right. nothing... That I would like, as I walk by, to inspect them a little bit, just give a little side glance at them. Okay, well, you kind of give them a look, and as you do, uh, you notice that their heads are following you as you're moving uh, across the room. Should be nothing to worry about. says, oh! <laughs> Roo, 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 <laughs> I don't know, Waffles. I think we better keep on our guards. I got a, a, a sinking suspicion about all of this. Uh, I, I would, I'm going to hold my axe at ready in one hand, though, in case anybody tries to And waffles and jump in. Tries anything. Yeah, I have waffles in one hand, the axe in the other, and then the, the torch, torch sticking on my back. Not like a teeth. Right, okay, the torch teeth. in your right. teeth? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> as, I, as I try to make my way towards that door to get away from the spooky skeletons. Okay, well, as you, you, you looked at the skeletons, and you kind of look back to the door, and you find there's a skeleton standing in the mouth of the door. We'll come back to you. Oh! Uh, Grandma, we're going to go to you. Uh, you've lit your fire, and you were roasting uh, uh, pig meat on the, or roasting pork on the fire. Uh, why don't you roll perception? You're going to roll a 20 center and add your perception to it. Add perception? Ooh, 20. Okay, uh, you were able to spot the approaching pigskin wearing horrible thing as he was trying to sneak up at you, sneak up upon you. And you see that he's, and what, 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 what gave, it, uh, gave it away was a wet slapping sound his bloody feet are leaving on the ground. And he's coming closer and, there, and, he's, and he's got claws extended through the, the, the skin that he's wearing on his body. Another one of these guys. And you see that he, as he's breathing, you see that the, the, the cheek of his pig head is inflating and then deflating, and making kind of a, a flapping noise. Ooh. So I would like to, I would like to fling one of these throwing knives to try and see if I can hit the the pig skin on the face. See if I can maybe tear a hole in it or something. Do it. Roll ahead. Ah, oh, five. All right, so your 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 throwing knife uh, goes a bit a bit a bit a bit of, well it misses and uh, <laughs> uh, but that's enough to uh, to start you in down the road of trouble as it's going to close upon you and attack which it does but it misses as well and you duck out of the way as its claws sweep over your head all right back to the middle passage you were running towards yes. this big scary hulking less scary it's actually this big gorgeous statue yeah. of a woman with a golden coin around everything seems to be okay <laughs> all right so you're running to it with and double fisting right that was what double it was. double fisting towards the the, the beautiful statue with my Again, double fisting my torches. Nothing sexual about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you get closer, uh, the you see the coin glints, and you need to roll willpower. Oh. 
<laughs> Seven. Oh. Okay, uh, so as you're looking at the coin, you, uh, you kind of lose yourself. Because it's so pretty. <laughs> We'll come back to you. All right. <laughs> All right, Luigi. I'm the one that gets possessed. You're crawling, uh, you're crawling across the floor, and you come to the very edge, uh, and you're looking down. You, you took your time. It's been slow, and you're getting you to the edge. You see that this, the shelf, that this ledge you're on, is actually a shelf, and there's, it's just kind of stabbing out from the wall behind it. Uh, you see that it, maybe it's about an 80 foot drop to the cavern floor below. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to and throw it down there. Okay, uh, you light a torch and you toss it down there. And what you see at the bottom, as soon as it hits the bottom, you see it scatters a bunch of pale humanoid figures with dark circles on their eyes, and they're all kind of looking up at you with bloody mouths because they've been chewing on something. And they're all watching you, their dead eyes glinting. Huh. Seems legit. <laughs> I, think, I think, jump down. I think I passed out. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, I'm a holy symbol, and I'm going to uh, cast myself up. I've broken my bag. I didn't want them to know earlier, but I had a broken. Tied it off, and I'm going to swing down with my holy symbol and kind of like. <laughs> huh? Okay. All right. So uh, you're you're doing that work right now. All right. So back to uh, back to Grandma. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, well, I'm trying to assess this whole pig man situation. Um, Roll to assess. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, uh, well, I'm I'm kind of effed because my short sword. Is still at the bottom of that lake <laughs> from forever ago. Throw yourself at it. You have moxie, though. That is true. And, and a mustache. I've got mustache, and I've already got a, a campfire. Not so. Throw yourself at it. Uh, I would like to see if I can get around behind Pigman and push him at, at the fire. I like the fire. I like that idea a lot. All right, so you're gonna. Uh, why don't you just roll uh, agility? See if you can pull it off. Uh, nine. Okay, so you try to get behind Pikman, but Pikman is too clever for you, and step inside steps, and he's going to slash at you with his claw. Ooh, and he rolls a 17 total. Whoa. Take two damage. So he drags his claws, and as he does, you see the skin that he's that's cutting his body starting to fall off, and you see that he's a bloody, skinless dude underneath. All right, so it's still... Kevin, another, another Kevin Bacon. Another Kevin Bacon. Dougal, Dougal, you were there, and the skeletons seem to be closing in on you. What are you going to do? I'd like to uh, drop the torch out of my mouth and put waffles in my helmet so he's safe. Uh, and I'm going, I'm going to try to address them as I, I put my shield on my other hand. I'm going to say, hey, I don't want no trouble. I just I want to find best. That's all I want. So you guys just get... Get on out of here, man. <laughs> That's what I say. I can tell you those exact words. Right. Okay, so the skeletons uh, don't really seem to respond to that, but they are getting closer. Okay. Oh, I can see in the dark. I, I'm a dwarf. Uh, all right, uh, you guys didn't want this to happen to you, but it's happening now. I'm going to use my super special spin around with my axe attack and make a, a whirling tornado skeleton I'm just kill. You, you doing this. <laughs> I'm also doing a little bit of the, the sprinkler motion too. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's your signature move. It's it's, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty saved awesome. our hides uh, on many an occasion. I think you should roll a 20. Okay. Roll, roll a d20. 15. All right, so we're to say that you, you hit a couple of them, and you did uh, four damage, and you see two of them crumble, but the other six are still closing in, and they're all going to attack as one against you. And uh, they rolled a 19. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. So you're going to take uh, three damage from just their claws or scrabbing at your skin and armor and trying to tear you to pieces. Okay. All right, so uh, Benedict Mustache, cover badge. Uh, you find yourself standing on a ledge, and there is this rope that's been tied off, and you feel like, man, you really just want to take, take that rope off. Uh -huh. And as you look over the ledge, you see Luigi get, with holy symbol grip between his teeth, halfway, yeah, getting ready to swing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Wait, is he above me? No, he's below you. Oh, he's below You're me. on the ledge looking down at him. Okay. Wait, what happened to the statue? You have no idea. You don't remember. Oh. Huh. <laughs> oh well. Uh, what I'm gonna do is let's see. Don't shoot an arrow. We'll see what I was thinking. That's what he does, though. 
<laughs> Does he see me when I call out to him? Uh, yeah, Luigi, you, you, you can see. Uh, okay. well, I was going to shoot an arrow at him to get his attention, but uh, uh, he, it seems like I have this nagging feeling in the back of my head that says you should jump. So I'm going to jump and try to grab onto the rope on the way down to see where he's going. And go with him. That would be a really cool move. Yeah, it would be really cool. You're so jump without having shot any arrows down there first? Well, you already, you already oh, saw you me. Oh, shoot him while you're jumping. Yeah. I'm going to do a flip, and I'm going to shoot three arrows as I spin around. <laughs> just to, just as a cool thing. I think that sounds like a really, really cool thing. We'll look at 20 and see what, what might result. One. Oh, oh my God. All right, so uh, sadly, you have this really cool idea, and uh, you, it's, it's, so, it's so cool as you're lead, making the leap, you trip on the rope that is holding oh Luigi. God. The rope becomes dislodged, and Luigi falls the rest of the distance down to the bottom of the room, uh, where Luigi takes six damage from the wall. Uh, and then as you tumble, head first to fall on top of Luigi for your own damage of six, six more damage for you. Oh my God. Uh, five. Uh, your bow skitters out of your hand, and uh, you see one of the weird cave people picks it up and looks at it. Oh no! The what skitters out of my hand? Uh, your, your, bow. your bow. Oh my bow! Well, I still got a, I still got my short sword. Um, <laughs> but you can't shoot arrows with a sword. <laughs> oh, can you? Oh, I should have shot my sword. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. You better get back your bow then. That's true. Uh, I say to him, excuse me, sir, I believe you have my bow. <laughs> okay, so Grandma, we're back to you. And, uh, <laughs> Grandma, what would you like to do? Uh, this thing is now he's getting close and he's clawing at you. He wants to, he wants to eat you or uh, do something to you. Well, it's, either, it's pretty much... Oh! Well, I'm not very strong. How heavy are these pigs? They're pretty heavy, but you could try it. I think, I'm gonna try, to the wall. I think I'm gonna try and swing a pig. I like it. All right, so you grab a pig from a wall. Why don't you roll strength and see if you can pull it off? Nine. All right, so you get the pig. The pig is, just to be clear, the pig is probably three times your size. So you manage to get it off the wall, and it lands with a wet slapping noise. Uh, and uh, you have it in hand, but you were not able to swing it this round. Uh, but it's going to claw at you. But you, but you, but you have a meat shield. But I missed. The okay, thing he sinks his claws into the pig. All right, Luigi. Uh, actually, we're back to you, uh, Dougal. Okay. Uh, these guys are uh, they're converging. You've killed two. You destroyed two. There are six left. Six. Okay. Well, that didn't go as well as I had hoped. But uh, so clearly the problem was that I didn't have enough axes in my hand. Uh, so I'm going to discard my shield and instead. Uh, I have a couple of hatchets, it says, so I'm going to have my battle axe in one hand and then a couple of hatchets oh and yeah. spin, spin again. It's spin great idea. All right, spin to win. Spin it to win it. Eight. All right, you, uh, you spin it, but you do not win it. And uh, you spin around and the blades go flying, but you, you, you still have, you hang on to them, but the skeletons definitely get out of the way. And, they are and by that, they take one step back and like... Oh, Look at this guy. The Run. skeletons, however, attack in mass once more, and they rolled a one. Oh. All right, so the, the skeletons fall to the floor. You have, an, you have an opening to run away. Yes, I did it. Way to go, Waffles. You had my back. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Do you, want to, do you want to run back where you came, or you want to run down? The... Oh, no, we're, we're going forward. I'd like to pick up my shield, though. Before we totally go. fine. All right. So the two of you are at the bottom of this, uh, in this cave, you're surrounded by maybe 20, 30, 40, 100 of these weird cave people. One of them is holding your longbow. You should become their president. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm, we're surrounded by a, somewhere between one and 100 of them. Yes. As a priest, I do have holy water, so I'm actually gonna do the sprinkler with my holy set. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. And it's gonna spray the water around the room. I want him to do that. Okay, uh, you spray the water around the room. They're wet. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Hey, but now I'd probably slip past them. Now they're kind of wet, so... <laughs> is, there, is there any escape from this, uh, like behind me, or...? So there is a... So as I mentioned before, it was just the floor of the ledge. It was just standing out of the, out of the wall. Yeah. So there was really no way to climb back up there unless you can maybe throw a grappling hook or something. Which we do have. We do, that you just said you had. Uh, I don't really want to take on a hundred of these guys. As, as good as I am with my short sword, 
You got um, a lot of arrows, though. I don't have a bow, though. I just have you to need, throw my that's arrows. That's why you need to, to talk to them. You need to get your bow back. Did I get a response saying, excuse me, sir, you have my arrow? Uh, he is, uh, he's licking your bow. Oh. 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 Running a pink tongue covered in sores all over your bow. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said swords. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, we're the allies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I look over at Luigi and say, dude, we gotta, we can't, we, we, we gotta go. So hand me that grappling hook. Let's, let's Batman out of here. <laughs> All right, so you talk I gotta get back and find that gold coin. All right, so you throw the grappling hook up to the top, and uh, you gonna and the rope, and it catches. Okay, that's good. Uh, you gonna start climbing? Yes. All right, so this mass. Me first. Me first. Me first. Go ahead. Me first. This mob of, of horrible things are going to crash on you and you. Let's see if they get you. Uh, that's gonna be a fifteen on you. A fifteen armor rating. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I have. All right, so they start pulling and tearing at you for six damage. Okay. Luigi, okay. You're probably, oh, that's going to be a total of 16. I have 17. All right, so your armor protects you from there, this crash of, uh, of hands and feet and teeth and all sorts of things. All right, so there, uh, you're going to follow up after? Yeah, as they come in close, can I grab a bow? They're kind of running out of the The one that's got the, the one that actually has the bow is in the back, and he's still licking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Grandma, we're, it's, we're, we're, we're closing in at the end of our scenario. What are you going to do? Uh. Well, I've still got this pig, but it's too heavy for me to swing. Uh, first, I'm going to drink this elixir, because I'm starting to not feel so good. Uh, so, let me see. You drink your potion, and you feel better. I do. <laughs> but I still don't feel any stronger for swinging pigs. No. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? I've, got the fi I've done the fire, I've done the pigs, I've tossed knives at them. Is it possible to throw yourself? Yeah. <laughs> can I throw myself? I think you can. Do you, do you think you should? Yeah? Yes! yes. All right, so you it's can throw yourself. Why don't you roll? Natural 20. Oh, it's a 10. All right, so you managed to fling yourself across the room. <laughs> you bounce off of the, uh, the creature doing one damage. Yeah! yeah. The it's first damage is taken. Uh, and it, it's surprised at your self-throwing ability. <laughs> uh, he's going to uh, reward your attack with his own, and he hits a 15. 15 armor ratings. Uh, 18. All right, so he misses you as you nimbly dodge out of the way. All right, uh, we have Dougal. Yes. You uh, run past them, the skeletons are pulling themselves up, and you leave them behind, you come down around the corner, and you see it goes down, 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 and you see your friend Grandma fighting against the pig hey, skin grandma. ring. Uh, hey. You see the person wearing the hog hide thing fighting and you get, you know the situation. Man piggy! Uh, I found you. Well, seeing my grandma in danger fills me with rage and I'm going to throw the axe. Throw it. I'm going to throw the axe. All of my might. Perfect. Ten. All right, your 10 is enough. Uh, the axe hits the thing and uh, deals six damage. Oh, oh nice. All right, so... Uh, this is going way better than two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so the axe takes him to the back, and he staggers underneath the impact of the strike, and he uh, almost falls on a grandma, but he's still alive, or she is still alive. We're not really sure what the gender is in this thing. Uh, we have back to our friends who are trying to flee the horrific monstrosities. Can you continue climbing? Yes. All right, you get to the top and you're falling behind him, but as you're climbing up, they're gonna get one more attack against you. Luigi, I need the rope. I gotta, I gotta undo it. <laughs> that's Hold gonna, on. That's gonna be a 24 total. Oh. Yep, they hit me. All right, so they they grab a hold of you for six damage. Oh, I'm I fainted. <laughs> you fainted, <laughs> Pokemon style. <laughs> but I'm still holding the rope. I got good grip. Okay, good. <laughs> but, Have we lost Luigi? <laughs> Is Luigi dead? I'm zero. All right, Luigi falls from the rope and disappears beneath a mass of- Luigi! No! Thanks for the rope! <laughs> Got it. This will surely come in handy. Okay, okay. He'll be fine. They're probably just talking to him. Don't worry, Luigi. You'll probably become the president of the underground cage. Yeah! <laughs> All right, so as, as we're wrapping towards the end, you're running up the rope, and the two of you are, if they, that are fighting this pig creature. What are you going to do, Grandma? Oh, well, this whole hand-to-hand -hand combat thing is working out pretty good, so... I'm gonna do what I did last time, except I'm gonna do a flip while I do it. You're <laughs> right, flipping and throwing yourself at the same time. Thirteen. All right, thirteen to hit for five damage. All right, this thing is almost dead. It's staggering around, almost ready to fall. 
I'm so jazzed up from that flip. I want to throw both of my hatchets while also doing a sweet spin kick. <laughs> what? Oh, totally. I love the idea of that. Yeah. We can all do flips. Six. <laughs> all right, so as you do this kind of funky maneuver, you slip on some viscera. No okay. sure. Whoops. You land for, uh, hard for one point of damage. Oh, no. you're, on the, you're on the floor. Did, uh, I, did I kill it, Grandma? And it, and it, and it makes the Scooby Doo sound as you call it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, waffles! <laughs> so this weird pig creature is going to attack you, who is seen to be doing much, but he misses. He was overwhelmed with a fear. So what do you take us home? Wrap it up. All right. Uh, okay, I'm I'm going to. Uh, hmm. What do I have here? Throw waffles. Throw waffles. Yeah, I'm gonna throw waffles for the <laughs> blow. Yeah. Waffles, you've earned this. The waffles, <laughs> seems, <laughs> waffles, it seems ready to go. Yeah. Right. Fourteen. Fourteen waffles leaped from your hand as you're throwing, adding his wee power to the strength of your throw. And waffles lands on on a pit creature's face and starts digging in its eyes. It screams as it falls backwards and voids its bowels in death. Yeah. And I think that will do it for our Cup Adventurers. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where the Ouija is, but... What I missed? What's going on? Did we find the pigs? Waffles is a hero. Yeah, we found them, but they're dead. We're gonna make so many gold, silver pieces. <laughs> so yeah, many ones. we had to bring them back. Yeah. We just wanted to know what happened to them. Oh, Wait, we never found out which one was best. Let's grab all of them. It can, before we go, can Here's the aftermath. Bess does walk around from the corner and says, You were here for me all along. A happy ending. Bess is okay. And so, and so in victory, we put John Grandma on Bess and he rides back on Bess. Into the sunset. Hey guys, has anyone seen Luigi? <laughs> me neither. Oh well. Hey, who's Who's that other guy? I don't know, he just kept making puns. <laughs> Talk about Star Wars. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys, for coming. Yeah.